What's up everybody, it's Sean here, back today with a review of the No Two Ways Apricity. Today's video was sponsored by the good people from Hefalux. Hefalux is my all-time favorite sneaker insoles, and they sell ETPU insoles, which essentially is the same material they use for Adidas Boost. So if you're looking to add some additional comfort inside your shoes, be sure to check out their website, which I've linked down below, and you'll see they sell four different insole options. So really depending on the type of insole density and cushioning setup you're looking for, whether that's for a pair of winter boots or for sneakers, you're gonna find there's something for everybody. So I've been a proud paying customer of Hefalux for years now, and I honestly stand by their products. They truly are very comfortable. So if you guys wanna check them out and give it a shot for yourself, be sure to use the code SEANGO at checkout and get 15% off your entire purchase. So this is the latest sneaker release coming from the good people from No Two Ways. I've featured them a couple times before on my channel, but if you guys haven't heard of them before, they're a London-based sneaker brand founded by YouTuber Calyx, along with sneaker designer Rockwell Princely. And this is their final sneaker release of 2021, and they released back on December 7th for a price of 120 Great British Pounds, which is the equivalent to roughly 165 US dollars or 205 Canadian. And the colorway for this shoe is exuberance orange, true white, jet black, and ice blue. So this marks the second colorway they've done on this arrow silhouette following the after dark colorway, which I also reviewed on my channel a couple months back. And if this colorway looks familiar to you guys, it's because they adopted the original colorway of their first ever release, Exuberance, but applied it to the Aero Silhouette. So first things first, here's a quick look at the box. This comes in this natural colored cardboard box. We have this orange and white stripe running down the side, along with No Two Ways logo. We have this triangular cutout on the bottom right, which exposes the paper within the box. And then the top of the lid is done in this iridescent finish, and we have No Two Ways branded paper inside. So diving into the details of this shoe, the overall construction of the shoe is done in this one-piece booty-like fit. And to help give you that structure and containment for your foot, the upper for the most part is constructed out of this white-colored knit. So this knit is primarily done in this white-colored finish, but we have hits of black underneath, and we have these white-colored fuse overlays on the side to give you added structure and containment. Surrounding the outer edge of the toe box, we have this very soft white colored smooth leather and we have this triangular cutout on the lateral side which exposes the sliver of reflective silver 3M material underneath. Moving downwards, so the bottom eyelet is connected to the base of the shoe and is done in the single strand loop style. Moving upwards, the top two eyelets are constructed out of this black colored nylon and then underneath this we have more of that white colored knit but we have this hit of translucent netting which is shaped almost like a lightning bolt. Moving downwards so we have more of that smooth white leather which wraps around the bottom of the back heel and then on the medial side you'll see it's shaped like an arrow and we have the No Two Ways logo stamped on here in this grey coloured finish. And then running down the centre of the back heel we have this semi-translucent orange coloured pull tab along with another hit of semi-translucent nylon cutting across diagonally. So while the bottom of the shoe is done in this white coloured finish, the top of the shoe is primarily constructed out of this black coloured knit. So you can see that the lace is intertwined through this center strip, which is constructed out of this black colored nylon, and we have no two ways branding running down the center. And then as for the laces themselves, they're a thick rope style lace done in a combination of white and black, and they have these metallic lace tips which gives you that added premium finish. But if you want to add an additional pop of color, they also give you a secondary pair of these light blue colored laces as well. So the top portion of the shoe, like I mentioned before, it's done in this one piece booty like fit, so the collar area is very stretchy, allowing you to get your foot into the shoe with ease. Moving on to the insoles, these come with a very well padded foam insole. It's lined in this bright orange colored finish, and we have the No Two Ways logo stamped on the heel. So the upper of the shoe sits atop this very chunky, recycled phylon foam midsole. This midsole design has a very aggressive and dynamic appearance to it, and it's entirely done in this white colored finish. And then turning the shoe over to the bottom, the outsole here is equally as aggressive looking. It almost reminds me of the traction you'd see on a winter boot, and it's done in this icy blue colored finish. So that breaks down the look and the construction of this pair. And for those of you guys wondering how these fit, generally speaking, they do fit true to size. Keep in mind though, on their website, they sell these in UK sizing. So for example, I'm a US size 10. I got these in a UK 9, and I gotta say they fit me pretty much spot on. There are no half sizes however though, so if you like more of a snug fit and you're in between sizes, I would go with the smaller size. But if you prefer more of a roomy fit or if you have really wide feet, then I would probably round up to the higher size. Next up for comfort, this shoe is pretty comfortable. 
with this very thick phylon midsole along with a very padded insole. In combination, they feel great on feet, and you can really feel that plushness even straight out of the box. However, the one criticism I have is the heel to toe drop. I thought that the heel of the shoe was much more elevated than the front of the shoe. So when you're wearing these, it almost feels like you're slanted forward naturally. So it's a bit of an unnatural feel. And while it's not as noticeable when you're walking around, it's very noticeable when you're just standing. Last but not least, in terms of the overall quality and craftsmanship, so I thought that the material quality was very good. The leathers they used felt very soft and premium. And while the rest of the shoe was largely synthetic materials, I thought the small touches like the metallic lace tips, the super thick insole padding, and all the other little touches that really make this shoe excellent, that really stood out for me. However, the build on this shoe, I can't say it was perfect. Especially in this midsole area, I noticed a lot of glue stains on this shoe, and I can already see a little bit of discoloration where the outsole meets the midsole. So I don't know if this was limited to my pair and I got a particularly bad version, but I'd say that the quality of materials was better than the overall build. So with all that out of the way now, let's lace these up and I'll show you guys how these look on feet. All in all, I gotta say this is another successful drop from No Two Ways. While I prefer their OG silhouette a bit more than this Arrow silhouette, I've always been a fan of their initial exuberance colorway, and I think it translates perfectly on the silhouette, and it's a colorway that will definitely turn heads when you wear them on feet. So let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about this No Two Ways apricity. What are your overall thoughts on the colorway, and are you guys feeling the design of the shoe, or is it more of a pass for you? If you guys like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet. You can follow me on Instagram at esco8, check me out on Twitter at sean.go, and visit my website as well at seangoca Before I end this video, another huge shout out goes out to No Two Ways for sending me over this pair. Thank you everyone else for watching, hopefully you guys enjoyed this review, and I'll catch you guys all in the next one.